<laughs> Did I have a whirlwind of a weekend? It was crazy this weekend. Scott and I went to garage sales. Actually, this video that I'm making now was not this past weekend, but the last weekend that Scott and I went to garage sales. This past weekend, I had a garage sale at my sister's house. <laughs> my last video, the ride along with me and Scott, we went to the estate sale. That was so much fun. We had a blast. I hated that Scott felt bad, but we had a lot of fun. Um, I got quite a few things, so I'm going to try to go through, thing, through everything pretty quick and try to kind of give you all some numbers on what I think I can get for some of this stuff. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I picked these up. These are vintage Halloween decorations, and they're the little cardboard cutout things. They're not in the best of shape, but... I thought they were cool. Love the graphics on them. And they do have a marking on a couple of them. It's uh, the It says Eureka. It's right here at the bottom. Um, it says Eureka USA. So I got this one. I got this one. It says Boo on it with a little ghost. I got this one that says Happy Halloween. And they're two-sided. Um, and then I got a fourth one, which is like the owl one that I showed. You got two of those. I got some vintage tea towels. Um, they do need to be cleaned. They have some stains on them, but I thought they were really cute. This one and this one. Loving the vintage tea towels. I also got a table runner. Very, very cute. Got a little Southern Bill lady on each end that's been embroidered and it's got this lace around the edge. Thought that was really pretty. This one here reminds me of like maybe 60s, 70s. It is a table runner also, or let's see, is it? Okay, yeah, there's two. And they have these um, really pretty pink and white flowers on them. Very, very delicate. And then I got a couple books, vintage books. This is Happy Go Luck Lucky Skipper. And then this one is called Tell Me About Jesus. I got these two. Actually, this is state sale. I got a bunch of stuff when me and Scott first went, and then we came back home, and there was some glasses there, and contacted my girl and told her to kind of describe to her what they look like. She said, oh my gosh, go back and get those. So I went back. I was thinking, oh, please let them still be there. They were. <laughs> so um, when I went back, I got a bunch of more stuff. I got these two little wall plaques, and I think there might have been three this one says faith and this one says love and there might have been a hope one but i'm not sure but anyway just thought those were so so cute and as far as what i paid for everything i made a pile and we decided on a price and i'm trying to remember what i paid because when i went back and did the same thing i made a pile and did a price so i'm thinking that for everything you're seeing i paid like 50 or 60 dollars for so that kind of gives you an idea of what I paid for everything I'm showing you. Got a vintage tablecloth. This is what it what it looks like. I thought that was really pretty. And I had a couple people comment on my last video and ask about the Mary Mushroom canisters. That garage sale, um, I knew the girl. She has a antique booth where I used to have my antique booth. And she was selling, I guess, some of the stuff that either didn't sell in her antique booth or some of the stuff that she, you know, had just didn't want to put in her booth or didn't want to list online. The Mary Mushroom canisters, I didn't get those because they were a little bit high for me to resell online. There was only three canisters, and I know there's more that goes with that. I'm not sure if there's five or how many goes with it. But um, it did have the, I think it was the napkin holder with it also, but uh, yeah, I just didn't pick that up. A lot of her prices were good, um, but some of them were a little high for me to resale, so I just passed on a few things. So anyway, um, I got this tablecloth. It's just one kind of like that. This is big enough that it'll fit my table, so I was really excited to find that. Then I got this afghan. Gotta be careful undoing this because <laughs> I was undoing those tablecloths and the lady had stuck uh, a little rooster that I had got that was vintage, had Japan marked on the bottom. When I was unfolding that, it fell out and broke on the ground, so I was really sad. But anyway, got this afghan. 
It's just a granny square, vintage granny square afghan. Um, I'm thinking that I can probably get online, I'm going to say between 25 and 30 for this. Um, done a little bit of research. This is in really good shape. Um, so, yeah, there's that. I got two of these peach luster um, flower vases. And I did a little bit of research on these. I can probably get about, I'm hoping to get about 30 to 35 for the pair. I got this vintage um, little tin. Just looks like that. I love the graphics on that. And I've seen these from time to time um, and just passed on them, but I thought, I'm going to grab that. This kind of reminds me of what those butter cookies come in, and those are so good. I got a, I'm not, I'm not sure if it's an entire set, but I got several of these milk glass spice jars. Um, most of them have this lid that's got the holes in it, but I think I only have like two or three of these lids. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with these, but if I do sell them, I can probably get about 40 to 45 for the entire set. So I know I need to sell them. I don't need to keep them, <laughs> but I just love them. And then I got, you all saw the milk glass when Scott was scanning over the stuff in the kitchen. Um, I really, I only wanted this pitcher. I love this pitcher. But she would not sell me the pitcher separately, so I had to buy all the milk glass. So I got the pitcher. I got this little planter. I got six of the dinner plates. And I got, I'm thinking, six or eight of the, you know, cup and saucers. So, I didn't think that was too bad. I know, milk glass doesn't sell good. Nobody wants it, but they're going to. It's coming. I'm telling you guys. Pick up the milk glass. I got another one of these clocks. It's just a uh, General Electric, and it's a lighted face. So, it does work. Um, but I'm not sure about the lighted face. Scott plugged it in and he said that it didn't light up. So I don't know if it has to be plugged in for a while or if it, the lighted face just doesn't work. I'm not sure. But anyway. And then I picked up this vintage uh, rooster figurine. I thought it was really, really cool. These are the glasses that I got. That's this leaf, leaf pattern. Um, there's six of them. So hopefully I'll do pretty good. I'm thinking that maybe, I'm hoping I can get about 30 to 35 for the set. This so. is not old. I just thought it was pretty cool. It looks old. It's just like a reproduction, um, but it's Morton's salt uh, canister. So, and it's even got the little thing. I mean, it's just painted on, but anyway, on the top. I got this vintage Fostoria handheld mixer. Um, it's in pretty good condition. Um, it has the, the, you know, the high, medium, low here is kind of worn off a little bit, but I thought it was really cool. It's pretty heavy. I haven't plugged it in yet to see if it works, so hopefully it'll work. And then I got this bag of uh, vintage scarves. This one here's uh, Oscar de la Rente. Like that. This one, same thing. Oscar de la Rente, just a different color. This one here I thought was pretty cool. The pattern on it. Like that. This one's very nice for fall. It's brown with orange in it. One here. That was really pretty. Very nice. Got this uh, vintage butter dish in really good shape. Not sure, I haven't done any research on that, so I'm not sure about that. And I got this little owl. <laughs> Isn't he cute for Ella? Thought he was so cute, still has the tag on it. This right here, I've done a little bit of research on it. It is a cookie jar. Looks like that. And it's dirty, I need to clean it up. But the good thing is, it doesn't really have any terrible issues. Um, there are a few little areas around the edge, like little flea bites and stuff around the edge there, but it's not too terrible. So I'm hoping there's only one other one that I saw online exactly like this one, and I think they had it listed for like $45. So I'm hoping 
um, that I'll be able to, to do pretty good on this. I got a couple of like wood shelves, just plain wood shelves. I was really surprised that she said that she had that estate sale last weekend and then she had it on Friday and me and Scott didn't go till Saturday. And I just couldn't believe all the stuff that she had left. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's good for me, but anyway, um, I just kind of picked and chose, you know, what I thought might sell or things that I liked. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the haul video. I do have a mega haul coming later this, either later this week or early next week. And then also <laughs> this past weekend when I had the garage sale with my sister, um, Scott went out thrifting by himself. So I've got that video coming also. And you're all going to die when you see what he found. <laughs> so anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you join my YouTube family and become a subscriber. And I guess I'll see you guys another day. Bye.